Hi guys, last video we've been playing around with user agent Spoofin in Scrappy Shell and this time it's time to make the same in the Scrappy Spider basically, yeah. So uh, I'll just create a new Scrappy project here, Let's say Scrappy start project, let's call it hitters. Okay, and just open this now. Hitters, hitters, and I go to the spiders uh, folder here, and I create a new spider here and call this user agent dot pi, and just open this and also open terminal here okay so what do we need here okay so uh, here we uh, would now actually define the particular spider class and this spider class would be using the custom headers and we'll make absolutely the same tests just like the previous video. So first thing we're supposed to do is actually import Scrapy and also I want to import the crawler process in order to be able uh, running this script uh, with a Python like uh, like a Python script basically not not using the Scrapy crawl command well so I say just from Scrapy crawler. I want to import import crawler process, and just before we have, we didn't really have that class, but I just want to say that the process variable define this is equal to crawler process. And we want process that crawl. Well, this is exactly the same as we use the crawl command in Scrapy Shell. And here, the name of the spider will call this user agent. User agent spider. And process that start. So this allows us to actually make uh, to run this. Uh, particular spider from from the shell from like well not from the shell but uh, from the console like the like the regular python script like that okay now let's define the class user agent uh, spider yeah and this would be the type of scrapey that spider like this and here what we what we have to provide well let's call this user agent don't probably we don't really need this but still just for clarity uh, user agent like this and now it's time I, I'll just grab the custom hitters I've already prepared so this would be the particular hitters we're about to use in our spider locally so uh, you could have also done this globally in the file settings.py but uh, I just want to uh, I really like to encapsulate things uh, hence I'm using their uh, custom uh, hitters like uh, that relates only to the particular user agent spider here so no, no global settings for now and uh, now we have to implement the start requests function which is the entry point in the user agent spider or in, a, in any spider basically so I say just dev start requests so the very first method to kick off with basically and here we simply want to yield scrappy dot request and this is by the way absolutely the same as we were doing in the scrappy shell so just 
uh, invoking this request but we don't really store this into variable here we just yield in this out of the box so like this and here we want to specify the URL just like we did in the scrappy shell and the URL would be this endpoint okay and for now let's just leave the custom headers uh, I'll, I'll specify them just in a moment but before that I just like to show you how things work and, and also well probably need the callback function here to be specified manually and we say self dot parse like that is this fine yeah and now let's specify the parse function that would actually have two arguments the self and the response response uh, what we do here well let's just print response dot text and say something like response and a double new lines just to make it v visible there in the scrape along among the scrape logs something like that okay so it seems to be just enough here and now i just say python 3.6 and how we call this user agent user agent dot pi and hit enter okay okay here is our response and here in the request bin.com we've got the request and just like it was in the scrappy shell we have only six headers here and the user agent is scrappy and the version and that's really bad if the site you're about to scrape is using some anti-scrapping measures so uh, that's the problem to solve here and what we do now we want uh, we do the very simple thing here as far as we have this request call like kind of manually we can specify the headers and what we do what we do here just let me do it like so I say simply the headers is equal to self custom headers and basically this is kinda it so if I just run the script one more time and go to the request bin uh, site to see so now we have seven headers already and the user agent is just exactly like my browser is well maybe not exactly maybe I've grabbed this from somewhere well doesn't matter at least it looks like to be the browser and now uh, I'd like to show you the exactly the same example with uh, the news.crunchbase.com site uh, just like as it was in the previous video so it's uh, like the reason why you want to use the user agents both in there so say we want Volvo again and uh, we would be uh, trying to fetch this particular link now so just copy this and uh, here instead of the request bin I'll put this one and for now just for the testing purposes I would just uh, remove this header specification just to give you an idea uh, what's wrong uh, with the script if it doesn't use the custom headers so we'll get a redirection issue here so just as I was kind of talking about well he has printed the response but that's the that's not the page we're supposed to see o okay let me just just kick this away for now and well uh, no instead instead uh, will say not the response but the response URL and here say response URL run this one more time so you you'll see what am I talking about basically so here the response URL is news that crunchbase.com so that's the home page and what we got here yeah we have the status uh, 200s 
but for the home page and when we were trying to get the page we were supposed to get that we got the redirection and here see the redirecting the, the status is 301 and it's not really what we want to have and that happens because here we had the user agent scrappy like like this and the Crunchbase uh, news uh, site uh, really sees that and he doesn't really want his site to be scraped by the scrappy bots and spiders and hence he just banned well may maybe not really that like banned but just redirects and you end up with kind of nothing there but in case if we simply uh, okay not like that so okay it's still in my buffer here and as far as we just uh, specify the custom headers and now I just run the exactly the same script just one more time and here you'll see that the response URL is exactly the same we're supposed to get so only the articles related to the developer company here and here no redirections as you can see it just crawls so successfully the very link we were trying to crawl okay guys this is it for this video and this was about how to uh, make some user agent spoofing in the scrapey spider uh, and this time it was made made locally so please also bear in mind that you can do this in the settings.py file if you want to use the settings globally but I personally don't really recommend you doing that for different spiders might have need some different uh, hitters and uh, different sites might have different uh, level of security in their anti scrapping measures so each time you would probably you would probably need to adjust your hitters uh, just appropriately and that's kind of the very point so when you scrap on the site the you know like as for me the most ever difficult thing is just to get the correct response not really to parse it to parse it is easy but getting the correct response that's the real challenge okay guys hope you like this and enjoy the video please like and subscribe and take care